Chapter 12 is a lot easier. So, chapter 12 concerns those kinds of situations where an object is stationary. It's static, it's equilibrium. Therefore, sum of all the forces on it is zero. Sum of all the torques on it is zero. Okay? Sum of all the torques about any point. So I could choose any a pivot point or any axis of rotation and uh, an object at equilibrium, the sum of the torques about any point should be zero. Okay? Some of the forces about some of the forces on it in the x and y direction should be zero. So this one gives you two uh, equations. Some of the forces external on the x is zero. Some of the forces external on the y is zero. And then some of the torque external on any point is zero. So there's three equations. So typically, statics problems will uh, give you certain kind of a situation. It's going to give you some unknowns. And then it's going to ask you to solve for one of the other unknowns, right? For example, I've set up here a situation, and we'll do this as a problem and as a demo. So we'll learn a lot from this problem. I've set up a situation here where this is a good static situation. It's not moving. It's got uh, the, the, the ruler, the one meter stick. It's got uh, something holding it. And it also tells me the force here. But I'm not going to tell you the reading of the force. We're going to solve it together, OK? Uh, this one also, uh, you can hang it. And uh, there's also a uh, reading here of what the force is. And I'm hanging something. And I could also hang, add more weights to it. And see, that also changes the angle. You know what? Let me not add as much. I'd rather keep the angle. I can add like so we could do this as a good demo and as a problem I want I want I'm gonna give you some of the unknowns and then I'm gonna ask you to solve for the other ones how many uh, unknowns uh, can we solve for there's how many equations three equations right so I could give you all but three unknowns and then ask you to solve for those three unknowns, right? So how many things, variables here do I need to give you? Well, I need to give you the weight of the ruler or the mass of the ruler. The, the ruler has mass. I need to give you uh, well, how much weight this is. Uh, I don't have to give you the tension here. I don't have to give you the tension, but I have to give you the angle here. I got to give you the angle here. I got to give you the angle here. Or maybe uh, I can not give you one of the angles, you know, and, and solve for it. Uh, so we could solve for two of the tensions and one of the angles, then I need to give you the other angles, right? So let's do this now. And see, we're literally seeing if the equations of physics work, right? <coughs> So let me redraw that. It's uh, tilted downward, right? And then it looks like something like this. T1. T2. And something's hanging there. F. And then I need to give you all the distances where each thing is hanging, right? So this thing is hanging from the 90 centimeter uh, mark, from 90. ninety centimeter. So this is the 0 centimeter. This is the 100 centimeter. Uh, this one is hanging from the 70 centimeter. This one is hanging from uh, 40. Is that 40? Yeah, that's 40. 40 and 70 and 90. And then let me get a protractor here. I'll measure one of these angles. Let's 
This one is not really perfect. Looks like about 60. You know what? Let me do this. 62. 60. About 62, it looks like. So this is 62. And I could give you this angle. Eighty five. And that's it. I can ask you to solve for this angle, and I can ask you to solve for T1 and T2. Okay? And I also need to give you how much is hanging here, right? This is uh, the hanger is 50 grams, and uh, I have 20 grams on top of it, so 70 grams. So I have to change that to force, right? 70 grams, so 0 0.07 kilogram times 9.8 to change it to newtons. 70 grams is uh, 0 0.07 kilogram. So what do you get there? Point? 666? Six, six, six? Six, eight, six. Oh, 686. Newtons. Then the ruler itself has a weight, which I weighed it before I put it on. It was 127.3 grams. The, the ruler's mass is 127.3 grams. So where is the mass concentrated? At the center of gravity, right? So that's at the 50 centimeter mark. And so we're going to have another mg right here, right? And this angle is also going to be 85. Okay? So that's going to be equal to change the 127 grams to kilogram, 0.127. Point one two seven three times nine point eight. One point twenty five newtons. Okay, now I want you to solve then for I want you to solve for T one, T two, and theta. T1, T2, and theta, and compare with the actual. So then we'll compare it to what it's showing over there. So actually, we'll see if we're right. OK, so let's do some of the forces in the x direction. So uh, in this case, notice the ruler itself is tilted. Let's see here. I want to, um, I can make the like this here. Um, you know what? One of the things we could do here, I think this might help. I could actually tilt my xy axis. When have we done that before? Where we've actually tilted the x and y? We've done it a lot. Yeah, when we did Newton's law inclined plane problems. And we, asked, we were asked to find the acceleration down the inclined plane. Well, we tilted the x and the y so that the acceleration is along the x, right? The reason 